Uh, welcome to Ucanic. Here we have a Mercedes, and in this case we have a C-Class, but we're going to go over an issue that we've seen with a few of these vehicles, and that's where the ignition switch uh, fails. And the symptoms of that is that you insert the key in the ignition, you try to turn it, and you cannot turn the key. The dash there, the lights might turn on, um, but you can't turn it. So uh, the one of the most common problems is this going bad, uh, even though if you have, let's say, uh, on the some on the newer uh, C class like the W204 chassis, the ignition lock this is uh, mounts right underneath the steering column there and it locks the steering wheel when you turn off the key so it doesn't turn left and right. Um, so that can also go bad, uh, but we're just gonna focus on this issue right here. And um, so this can go bad. Uh, of course, if you got a, a different keys, if you got two keys, I would try the key first. Now, the key doesn't necessarily need to unlock or have a battery in it. These keys, um, the the system that unlocks the the vehicle is completely separate than the system that unlocks the um, the doors. So you might have a key that has no batteries at all, but when you insert it, you're not going to be able to unlock the doors with it. But when you insert it in the ignition, you should be able to unlock that ignition if everything is fine. Um, but if you're inserting the key there and nothing is turning, try a spare key first and see if that works. If it doesn't, um, of course you need to diagnose it, you need to read the codes. Um, if you're not getting communication with the ignition module, um, then you, you know that that's probably the issue. Um, so. Now, as far as these goes, because uh, this ignition module, the EIS, is part of the anti-theft system, so um, it has the VIN number coded to it, so if the VIN number of this has to match with the VIN number on the ECU engine control unit and the transmission control unit and other modules in this vehicle. So uh, it, you can't just go and get a, um, use one of these and just put it in there and expect it to work. It's not going to work. Uh, there's a couple of things you can do. Of course, you can go and buy a new one and then install it but keep in mind that's going to need coding and programming and it's to you need to uh, basically uh, using software you need to write the the VIN number of the vehicle and there initialize this module um, another uh, solution that is a lot less expensive is to remove this and once you remove the EIS from the vehicle there's a, a specialty shop places where you can ship this and they'll fix it and then they'll just ship it back you just put it in there uh, software coding all stays the same um, now if you really have to go and get a used one um, these these shops that specialize on these might be able to basically um, erase the software that's in here and uh, make it so that uh, the it's to the vehicle it looks brand new and then you can code it again you can write the VIN number of the vehicle that's a little bit more uh, complicated and it's uh, you might not be able to find shops that are going to be able to make this new but um, but it's pretty easy to find somebody who can repair these and that's probably going to be the less uh, the least expensive route um, but yeah so keep that in mind uh, again make sure you diagnose the, pro uh, the problem before you just replace parts um, this we've seen this um, on quite a few cars here so that's what we wanted to just kind of explain how that works so thank you for watching Bye.